Hey, what's going on out there, YouTube family? This is Samuel Leggett representing Team JVS. I am back here again for another prayer time. Happy Monday. I pray you guys had a blessed and great weekend. Um, me and my wife, we had a really good weekend. I can definitely say that with our son. Um, as this title is, normally I've been doing like uh, two words or maybe even three or four depending on. But this is going to be a one word series this week for week three. Um, and breakthrough is definitely, I think, the most refined um, subject matter that I can talk about right now. Because I think a lot of people, like, they think about, like, breakthrough and, like, oh, man, I finally is just like, ugh, I don't know. I never thought this was going to happen kind of situation. Um, this wasn't necessarily my case. Um, I had a breakthrough moment when I was with my son today. And um, he normally like listens to, well, we normally put on worship music for him. Like there is a uh, worship group called Worship Mob. Uh, you can go and find them on YouTube. This isn't, I mean, you can plug it if you want to. I mean, I, I can plug them if I want to. I mean, they're amazing. I actually got a couple of their albums on Apple Music and everything. Um, but they are very good, gospel, contemporary, amazing group. And one of the things that happened today was they had this testimonial. <sighs> Maybe I should have started this praying. <laughs> um, but yeah, when they had like um, a post that came up today and um, at the time, I guess it had been up for like two hours and like, I was like, man, this is a 48 minute like video and normally like some of their worship sets could be like from certain services some of them are just like 16 some, at most i've seen one that was like 48 and um like this one it was basically like the the, the producers and different people that were directors and stuff like that were just letting them know like everything wrong that could have happened happened during this specific uh, day of shooting or whatever and they're like even though that happened the Lord literally transitioned the circumstance and like I was like okay so I played it and normally my son is like all into it like this time he really wasn't and I was more so just watching and listening and I was watching like them kind of like all like paraded into one room. Like normally their cuts and edits are all over the place. Like they, they have their stuff like legit. And it was like this time they were just all together. And like they were like really just kind of just pleading to God. And just like talking to God and praying and then just riffing. And then all of a sudden they started soaking. What soaking is when you're actually worshiping God and praying and like really there. Like, you start to soak in the moment. And when you start to soak in worship, that's when the atmosphere completely changed for the betterment of everybody around in the area. And as I was watching this, I was in the kitchen. I was helping, you know, my son with certain stuff. And I was cooking, getting his plate ready and stuff like that. And, like, at a certain point, I started to really feel like... Um, the presence of God, honestly. I don't know any other way to put it. I felt this peace. I felt this warmth. I felt this levity. I felt this connection with God I hadn't had in a minute. And I didn't even realize I hadn't. Like, because I know for a fact, like, I have been praying. I've been seeing God's face. Like, I've had encounters. I've had some amazing things that God has put on my heart to do. But it's different because when you have a real breakthrough, it is unrefined. Is like you cannot contain it. You cannot contain your joy. You can't imagine it being any other kind of way. And that was an encounter that I was kind of having while I was sitting there in in the kitchen with my son. And so, like, all I could do is just listen. And all of a sudden, I started to watch them really, truly worship God and just pray and just like sing variations of different songs. Then I started singing various different songs with them. Then I started. Like, just talking to God and praying myself. Then all of a sudden, like, at a certain point, like, when you when you really feel it, <laughs> like, you really, your breakthrough really hits, you're done. You're, you're really just done. But I was kind of like, I can't be completely done. So I just was, like, on my knees, right? 
And like I hit my, I, I went down on my knees and I was, I couldn't really move. I couldn't really get up or anything. But all I could do is just like thank God and just like listen and worship. Thankfully, I wasn't really cooking anything at the time. I already cooked what I needed to cook. It was all on the plate or whatever. And my son was not looking at the TV. He looked back at me, looking at the TV, and then he just got on his knees too. <laughs> and I tell you, like when I say a breakthrough, to share a breakthrough like that with my son, I don't even know how to really kind of describe it. I ain't even told my wife yet. And like he, he was on his knees and he just kind of like walked his knees close up to me and then he gave me a hug and then he just started to listen and then he was just completely all engaged and we were both engaged. And like I, I started to feed him anyway. I, I found the strength to get up. Like, But it was funny because one of the things about when I used to really like worship and just like to spend my time with God, like there's moments where like I kind of collapse within myself. Like I literally got to the point where like I'm sitting there praising God, thanking God, and just so thankful and happy and bliss and whatever. Like I can't even move. Like it's so euphoric and feeling. It's a high that you can't really express or under you can't really conceivably understand. And like it was weird this time because like I felt that same as that way, but it was like I felt like for the first time in my life, like, I had the the legs to really, truly stand up, even in feeling as, you know, amazing and great and refined and invigorated and uplifted as I normally do. And I was kind of like, man, is that old age or is that wisdom or is that like, and really what kind of got put to my heart and my really breakthrough with it is that guys refined me in such a way that even though like that was a lot to really just consume and take in that I was still able to function and still able to help my son and still be able to maneuver. Whereas before when I was younger, like it just swept me up with just how great joy and amazing this is. And I don't even know where I'm kind of going with this, but I'm telling you guys this because that is my breakthrough moment. Your breakthrough moment might be completely different. It might be a circumstance where you know, uh, a stimulus uh, check just came in and it came in on the right time, the right moment. You didn't know where it was going to happen, when it was going to happen. And it kind of came in and it was like, okay, now we can go and order food from Amazon. Okay, now we can go and take care of this bill. Okay, now we can go and take care of this hospital situation that we didn't know where it was going to go. And that might be your breakthrough moment. It might be that you haven't been able to get in contact with a family member for whatever amount of time didn't know where they were didn't know what was going on with them and then you just had this amazing moment that happened and then you just communicating with them you're talking with them and it's like something you've been wanting and didn't even know it was gonna happen or could happen and it just happens for you and it's not just like uh all right man that's a lucky situation like no like a breakthrough moment is something that you really internally need to happen for you on your behalf that you don't even know how it's going to happen. Or sometimes, in my situation, I didn't even know I needed this. You know what I'm saying? And that was where I just couldn't, I couldn't, couldn't hold back. I couldn't, I really couldn't. I was like, I knew that uh, tonight's um, prayer time was going to be encapsulated about a breakthrough moment. Now, I do have a Bible verse. Uh, I'm going to try to, well... I'm going to try to read it for you, but I really just wanted to focus on the first part. Um, but it is, let me go to it, it's Isaiah 60. Let me go to it if I can find it. Hold on. Yep. Isaiah 61 through 22 was really what I, the whole entire thing was. I don't know if I'm going to read this whole entire thing. I may, because it may... It may honestly bless and benefit somebody here tonight, so I, that's that's my prayer. And then there's something, to, before I say my prayer tonight, I do want to apologize about something. That I didn't even really know that, I didn't really notice it about myself until I had my breakthrough moment. Um, glory of Zion. So, Isaiah 61 through 22. Arise, shine, for your light has come and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. That is a breakthrough. And that was really the only verse that really mattered um, <laughs> in this circumstance. Just because when you really do feel your breakthrough, it's almost like a literal light is shined over you. Like, it, it, it takes up all the space in the room. Like, nothing else can really make you feel away except for this. And 
um, the, of course, the glory of the Lord uh, rises upon you with that moment. Um, but go ahead, and I'm going to go ahead and continue. See, darkness covers the earth, and thickness and darkness is, is over the peoples. But the Lord rises upon you, and his glory appears over you. Nations will come to your light, and the kings, uh, and the kings to the brightness of your dawn. Lift up your eyes, look about you, all assemble and come to you. Your sons come from afar and your daughters are carried on the hip. Then you will look and be radiant. Your heart will throb and swell with joy. The wealth on the seas will, will be brought to you and to the riches of the nations will come. Herds of camels will cover your land. Young camels and Midian and Ipha and all uh, Sheba uh, will come bearing gold and incense and proclaiming the praises of the Lord. All Kidar's flocks will be gathered to you. Rams of Nebuth will serve you. They will be accepting offerings on my altar and I will adorn my glorious temple. Who are these that fly along the clouds like doves in their nests? Surely the islands look at me in the leads of the ships and terrace, <laughs> bringing the children from afar with the silver and gold in the honor of the Lord God, Holy One of Israel, for he, it, he endowed you with splendor. Foreigners will rebuild your walls and their kings will serve you. Though in anger I struck you, in favor I will show you compassion. I want to read the rest, but I don't, I don't, I don't. I'm not going to go there. I, I want, man, Lord, all right, I'm going to be faithful with this. I don't know where you're going with this, Lord. <laughs> Your gates will always stand open. They will never be shut day or night so that people will bring you wealth of the nations the kings led in triumphal process. For the nations of the kingdom that will not serve you will perish and it will be utterly ruined. The glory of Lebanon will come to you and Juniper and Fear and Cyprus together to adorn my sanctuary and I will glorify the place for my feet. The children of the oppressors will come bowing before you and all despise you will bow down at your feet and will call the city of the Lord Zion, the Holy One of Israel. Although you have been forsaken and hated with no one traveling through, I will make you an everlasting pride and the joy of all generations. You will drink the milk of nations and be uh, nursed at royal breasts then you will know that I, the Lord, am your Savior and Redeemer and Mighty One of Jacob. I see now. Okay, God. Why can't you just tell me to go this way? So, okay, this is, this is where I feel like this is the most pivotal part right here, what I just read in 15. This is 15 and 16. Although you have forsaken, although you have been forsaken and hated, with no one traveling through, I will make you an everlasting pride and joy of all generations. You will drink the milk of nations and be, nur and be nursed at royal breasts. Then you will know that I, the Lord, am your Savior and your Redeemer and the Mighty One of Jacob. Because honestly, you can identify that being America right now. Like, for real, for real. Like, right now, we are going through it. There are nations that have kind of come outside of this situation better than we have. And it's kind of like, this would be a great testimonial and even a prayer for our nation. Like, that we would be able to um, come through this on a better note for generations to come. Because a lot of people, they have not just, like, hatred or disdain like they have pity for America looking at this circumstance and all the things that have kind of come down the pipeline circumstantially for us and through the past few years if this would be our testimony then I, I thank God that that would be our end all circumstance 
I'm gonna finish the rest of this out because I'm glad that there was a reason why God wanted me to read the rest of this. And this, we just trying to be obedient, man. Sometimes you gotta do it. Instead, we're supposed to do it all the time. I'm not gonna go there. Y'all know I'm real. Anyway, instead of the bronze, I will bring you gold, and the silver in place of iron. Instead of wood, I will bring you bronze, and the iron in the place of stones. I will make peace. <laughs> I will make peace your governor and well-being your ruler wow no longer will violence be heard in your land nor ruin and destruction within your borders but you will call <laughs> you will call your walls the salvation and your gates of praise the sun will no more be your light by the day nor will the brightness of the moon shine on you for the lord will be your everlasting light your god will be your glory your sun will never set again and your moon will wane no more. The Lord will be your everlasting light and your days of sorrow will end. Then all your people will be righteous and they will possess the lands forever. They are they are the shot. They are the shoot I have planted, the work of the hands for display of the splendor. And least of you will become thousand and the smallest mighty nation. I am the Lord in its time. I will do this swiftly. Wow. Okay. So <laughs> I, I, I'm glad. The Lord had me. I just wanted one verse, bro. All I wanted was verse number one. I had no idea that this is, I mean, if, I mean, the, the concept is talking about the glory of Zion, but I mean, for our nation right now, like, I would pray this for us. Like, I would pray that we would be brought to this high regard and this rejuvenation and this upliftment from the circumstances that we have gone through or going through and have no idea where we're going to get out of, you know? And, I mean, this is a blessing, man. I thank God for it. Um, one thing I was going to say before I start to pray, pray this out is that I apologize, you guys. Like, I did not realize that, yes, I have been <laughs> uncomfortable and just, like, you know, doing this and, like, letting the Lord use it and letting the Lord bless me in doing it. But I also know for a fact, and I didn't realize it until today, that I've been holding back. Like, I really have. I've been trying to be, <laughs> I've been trying to be cordial. I've been trying to be a certain type of way so it's not to kind of put off people. So it's not to try to like make people, you know, perceive one thing one way or another about me. But at the end of the day, bro, like I love God. Like at the end of the day, like I have a relationship with God. At the end of the day, like I know my life is not my own. I don't have anything to hold back. <laughs> I cannot, I literally cannot hold back the love and the care and the devotion and the need that I have for God. As well as the love that I have for you guys, it literally comes from God. Like, I, I cannot stress it enough that I didn't know that I had been holding back. And the reason why I didn't know, because I was watching one of my videos and I was like, like, normally when I just even talk about God, like, there's like this radiation of just like joy that I can't contain. I really just like, just kind of like how I am with reaction videos and stuff like that. Like, that's the way that I feel about God. That's the relationship I have with God. That is... Um, the limitless feelings that I have when it comes to just talking about God. And I apologize, I haven't been doing that. And I don't know if that's been affecting the way that I pray. I pray that I've been blessing you guys with, um, with the things that the Lord's put on my heart, with these topics and my prayers. But I do want to apologize that if any way, shape, or form I have been holding back, I apologize for that because that's, I just can't. I can't do it. I really I just can't. So, um, yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start us up, okay? And I don't know that I have, like, a specific set prayer at all. Um, I'm just going to let the Lord use it just like, you know, I was being obedient and letting the Lord use that as a means to bless uh and use that as a footstool or like a centerpiece for where I'm praying and believing for our nation. I had no idea that 
Isaiah 61 through 22 would be a catalyst for me to know, like, okay, I have literally, like, a verse, a whole chapter that I would like to stand on for my nation. I had no idea. And that's nothing but God. Um, so, yeah. Heavenly Father, God, I just thank you, Lord God, for waking up to see another the morning, Lord. I thank you for another opportunity to be able to talk with friends and family and loved ones. Um, people I don't know, people that don't know God, for an opportunity for you to show up and show out in such a mighty way for such a time as this, oh Lord God. Father God, I pray right now, oh Lord God, for the multitudes that are dealing with this uh, crisis and pandemic within COVID-19, oh Lord God. I pray right now that the intercessors are listening, the intercessors are moving in conjunction with your line and sink, oh Lord God, so that we might be able to push into um, a, push into what you called us to be and do in this moment, oh Lord God. Father God, I pray right now for the frontline defenders, oh Lord God, the um, people that are working in the hospitals and the nursing homes and people that are working in any kind of medical capacity, oh Lord God. I pray, oh Lord God, you cover them, you keep them, oh Lord God. Bless their countenance, oh Lord God. Surround them with your mercy, surround them with your joy, surround them with your peace, surround them with your focus, oh Lord God, to come in a gap, oh Lord God. Use them mightily, oh Lord God. I pray, oh Lord God, they might continuously grow in their relationship with you so they might not ever feel as though they're lacking anything or limited by any kind of capacity in any shape or form, oh Lord God. Father God, I'm praying right now for those out there that have loved ones that have been sick or have been lost or have just not any kind of conceivable way of getting out of a circumstance, whether it be financially, physically, or emotionally. I pray right now you just lift that person up, oh Lord God. Hold them in regard, oh Lord God. Keep them that they might know that you have them, that you're going to be able to bless them with the ability and understanding and discernment of knowing how to talk to that person, how to be able to push in the gap for them, how to be able to coach and, and pray for them specifically, oh Lord God. Um, Father God, I'm praying right now that you just give us all a breakthrough moment, oh Lord God. Let this be a landmark breakthrough moment that we might be able to fully encounter you. Holy Spirit, I pray right now that your love might transcend anything that we conceivably think that we can't do or can't get through or can't go around. Work in the gap for it right now in the name and by the blood of Jesus, I pray, oh Lord God. Keep us, oh Lord God. Show us your love. Show us your light. Allow us to be able to just completely be consumed by your continuous just grace and understanding and just peace and resonant of that, God. Father God, I'm thanking you for all that you're doing with and through my family, oh Lord God. I pray right now complete health and healing upon my family, upon my friends, in the name and by the blood of Jesus. I pray, oh Lord God, anybody that's lacking anything, whether it be mentally, emotionally, financially, spiritually, oh Lord God, bless us all tenfold, oh Lord God, that we might be able to know that you have us, oh Lord God. Father God, I pray, oh Lord God, for anybody that thinks that they can be able to handle this on their own, and through their own strength, that they might deny themselves so that you, oh Lord God, might be shed abroad around them and know that this is too much for just one person to be able to grasp, let alone understand or control. Father God, you stand in the gap and advocate for them. Even if they don't know how to even talk to you, oh Lord God, work it out on their behalf, oh Lord God. Loosen their chains, oh Lord God. Loosen the the elephant that's on their back or the horse that's on their back that's holding them down, that they feel like they have to maneuver with it. Father God, I pray right now that they might be able to maneuver freely, oh Lord God. I thank you for all these things in your name, I pray. Amen, amen, amen. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh man, I don't know whether to edit this or to just go with it. I really have no idea. Um, yeah, <laughs> uh, I definitely know that 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 was definitely me not really holding back. Uh, I don't know if you guys can kind of tell the difference, but I on, on the inside of my heart, I can. I do know that with each one of these videos, regardless of like me feeling as though I've been holding back, uh, using godly wisdom, I do know that like 
I mean, it also takes like a level of like uncomfortability and boldness to be able to just talk about my faith in general. Um, and even let alone like just, you know, uh, standing in the gap from an intercessory standpoint, like I'm, I'm not blind to that. Um, I think the difference is that at my heart's value, um, I'm a prayer warrior and um, I'm a man of not just faith, but I love to worship. And <laughs> with my breakthrough today, like I was really able to truly worship God in a way that I hadn't in a minute. And like that other connection with that, of course, is my prayer and intercessory. And the other side of that is evangelism. And it's like, once one of those like kickstarted from a breakthrough standpoint, the other one, I was kind of like, man, I have not, that's not, that's not what I've been doing. <laughs> and so I thank God that now I finally really do find a lot of joy and grace in this, even though the circumstances are rough, even though the circumstances are heart wrenching. Um, and not easy in any regard, like, I feel God's joy, like, right now. Like, I don't know if you can tell it, but I, I really do. And I pray you do, too. Um, like, life is precious. Um, I think I've been saying, like, you know, tomorrow's not promised and it's true, but think about how precious life really is right now, what you have, what you're doing, what you're breathing, who you see. Um, how you can make an impact regardless of what your age is right now like this moment right here is one of the most amazing moments to ever have and that is significant and i'm glad and i thank god that i could be able to um have this moment with you guys and um yeah you guys are seeing <laughs> some other stuff from team jbs um yeah it's gonna be an unboxing i'm gonna release out tonight so definitely go and check that out <laughs> um keep it locked jbs we ain't gonna stop love you guys Jesus, love you so much peace guys